Hello and welcome to the eighth episode of my Ultima 4 playback series. As you can see here, we are still in the town of Yalom. I think that's how we're supposed to pronounce it. J-H-E-L-O-M. I really kind of looked at it. Yalom. I think it's the proper way to do it. I'm going to try to say it that way from now on. Um, I'm trying to be less of an idiot. All right. Uh, maybe that's my, 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 my new resolution with this series. I'm trying to be less of an idiot. And I realized in editing the last two episodes, who howdy, was I an idiot? Um, because there were some major things that I missed in the last two cities that we were at. Um, we missed, I missed, we missed. Yeah, like you did it. It was me. I missed asking the Barda Empath Abbey about the candle, even though somebody at the front, I don't think it was uh, chin up, but it was maybe like one of the guards, specifically said, ask the bard, past the secret door about the candle and i got there and i'm just like i don't remember i'll ask him about his songs so totally messed that up totally messed that up and um and then when we were at uh you we were told ask the chanting druids about the mantra so i asked a bunch of druids and then when i actually came upon some druids that said they were chanting druids nothing Nothing. Didn't think to ask him that. I'm like, I've already asked all the druids. Why would I ask the chanting druids when I was specifically told that the chanting druids are the ones that have the mantra? That's just crazy talk. That's just crazy talk. Why would I do that? So we're going to be heading that back in that direction. Um, hopefully this episode, if not this episode, next episode. Uh, and then um, and then we will uh, go on from there. So the thing I want to do right now first to start off with is, you know, here in the land of Yalom is to find a companion. I am pretty sure we have one here. Sternguard. I, I don't think I've ever talked to these guards. I'm curious if they have something different. Stern. I guess they really don't have much to say. Well, what's your name? Are you going to say you're, you're a Sternguard? Yeah, I know that. All right. You're not much help. So Yalom here is the city of justice, I believe. Yes. No, that's you. This is Valor. What if I ask these guys about Valor? Ooh, they got a force field up there. I didn't notice that before. Uh, Valor. All right. You're not much help. Is there like... I feel like there ought to be like a way to get in there because I find those force fields intriguing. Clearly, you're trying to keep me out of something that I should not be locked out of. So I'm just going to quickly talk to these people. We, I, we went through this town once before. And if they don't have names, oh, your name is Timrod. What's your job here, Timrod? Fight with Valor. Valor. There is no holier spot of ground than where defeated Valor lies. Art thou brave? Yes, I am. Just ask the orcs. Fortune helps the brave. Okay. I'm not opposed to fortune. Brave. Be brave, for there is much to dare. Oh, tell me about daring things. That I cannot help you with. Okay, so thank you for your platitude, sir. Uh, let's find somebody else. I'm only going to deal with people, as I started to say, that have names. Are all these guys healers? I've never seen like three people behind the counter. No, we're not. You can see that I, I, I rested us up. Uh, I don't think it's going to be one of these guys that are comatose. Weapons and armor. We'll actually look through here, but let's talk to these guys. Ooh, I am Sir Hrothgar. What is your job? I fight for valor. What a shock. Um, the valiant soul fears not its own visage. Art thou the most valiant of souls? Um, I don't know if I'm the most valiant. Uh, I'm trying to be, but I don't know that I am. Well, let's be honest and say, you know, everybody's got flaws. Thou should seek the Shrine of Valor. Okay. Where is the Shrine of Valor? Do tell. The, the mantra need be known, asked Aesop. So, we need to ask... Aesop at Yehom about the mantra. I mean, I'm assuming it's here. It usually is. Okay, so mantra. Um, what is the other thing we need? 
shrine. I was hoping you were going to tell me where the shrine was. We need the mantra. We need the rune. Do you know anything about the rune? Good sir. Do tell us about the rune. Knows nothing about the room. Okay, well, you are still helpful. Let's talk to this guy, Sir William. All right, what's your job here? I search for valiant fighters. Art thou valiant? Well, I'll say yes. Strive ye to defeat all evil. Kill not non-evil creatures, but still always stand thy ground. Hmm. Do you know anything about the rune? All right. All right. Let's see what this third person is, or who this third person is. I've already talked to you. A noble fighter. Okay, here we go. They're all dressed the same. Sir William. I think we've already talked to him. I think I need the guy that's down there at the very bottom. You, sir. Who are you? A strange person. Oh, I didn't realize I was in this game. <laughs> what is your name, good sir? I am X. Ooh, interesting. Very, very secret, secret, secret. I seek the stone. Oh, what stone is that? The red stone. Red is for valor or virtue of the avatar. Okay. Art thou an avatar? Well, I am trying to be, sir. Yes. Wow. <laughs> oh, wow, I love that. Art thou an avatar? What if I say no? Then thou shalt need the red stone in one altar room. Get to the... Let's see. Then thou shalt need the red stone in one altar room to get the third part of a key. All right, that's an interesting little hint. All right, maybe what key are we talking about here? You cannot help me that. Altar. Okay. Hmm, interesting. Okay. I don't think I got all that information last time. I must have really sucked at this for some we here. All right, let's keep looking around. It's a ranger with a far away look. What is your name? I am Luke. Okay, what is it you do here, Luke? I seek the inner light. I come from Scarabray, um, and, uh, and am on my way to you. Hast thou been to Scarabray? We have not yet been to Scarabray. Tis a spiritual city. Okay. We can tell us anything about you. Tis a city based on the virtue of justice. Okay, we knew that because we've been there. We just went there and totally messed up what we were doing there. Let's ask about Scarabray. Scarabray. B R A. Nothing. Let me see if case is an is is a, is a. I don't think it is. All right, interesting. Okay. Well, we know that we know from, from Lord British that Scarabray is a spiritual city. He told us that. Who else do we have around in the environs? Well, let's see. Let's talk to this person. A shepherd, I do believe. A pregnant woman. A five-foot pregnant woman. She says, I am Lady Donna. Wow. Who's a shepherd? Or shepherdess. What does he do here? I watch over my sheep. Makes sense. I can't stand sheep. <laughs> okay. You might want to think about an alternate career. Maybe go to the Britannia Community College or something and, and you know take a course in alchemy or something. <laughs> I am Gravnor by the hammer of Gravnor. Sorry. Uh, okay. It's funny. He's a great fighter and his name is Gravnor. It's like, wow. He's on brand. If nothing else, he's on brand. I love that. All right, what's your job here? I search the dungeons. All right. Can you give me some good some good advice about dungeons? I seek the red stone. Yeah, okay. It is found on an altar. We knew that. Dost thou have it? Not yet. It lies in Dungeon Destard. Okay, Dungeon Destard. 
So that is, that's where the red stone is. Okay, good. That's, I actually had a note here that Val, Dun, Dungeon Destard was tied to Valor. But I didn't have a note about that being the red stone. So that's cool. All right. Um, you have anything in particular you could tell us about Destard? D E S T A D. Okay. No. All right. Well, what about the key? Nope. Rune? All right. Thank you, sir. Uh, let's see. So we've talked to all these folks. Let's see if there's anybody in the inn. I am Max. Hello, Max. What's your job? I am the housekeeper. I can't even type in housekeeper. So you clean. All right. Uh, let's see. You know anything about the rune? Somebody leave it in the room? Okay. All right. Well, thank you, housekeeper. Go about your rounds. So it's interesting. That door over there is locked. This door off to the right is locked with somebody in it. Hopefully that's not the person we need. This door over here is open, unlocked. We can go into it. Now, there's nothing here. We don't have any hidden doors, but just for Chucks, since we're in here and we can get in here, let's search. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Okay, well, it's worth a shot. I really hope that's not the companion in there. I really do hope that, but we'll, we'll keep looking. Maybe we'll have to come back and try to find a way in there if we don't find anybody else by then. Okay, so let's see. So we've looked at all the shops. Not that many in the way of shops. Let's start looking in some of these little hidden nookie nooks, nookie doos. Well, that wasn't much of a nookie do. How about you, good sir? I am Slythe, a valiant warrior. Okay, what is your job here, sir? I fight battles. Oddly enough, so do we. True valor is seen not in the force of arms, but in the force of will. Okay. Art thou valiant? Yes, I am. Thank you for asking. Then never need, then never flee unless the need is dire. Oh, when I flee when the need is dire, then they, um, I get dinged for not being valiant. Uh, flee. Rune. We still need to be looking for Aesop. We haven't come across him yet. All right, sir. Good day. Good day to you, sir. Good day. Is that somebody else or is that the same guy? I think that's the same guy. I think he just moved to Yeah, okay, that's the same guy. Quit following me, sir. Oh, who is this? A small man. I'm guessing, if I had to guess, I'm going to say this is Aesop. <laughs> yes. Kapla. What is your job here, Aesop? I search for valor. Valor? I find that tis easy to be brave from a safe distance. I'd agree with that. Know what I mean? Yes. That's my problem. That's why you're hiding here in the trees in the corner where nobody will find you. The mantra of valor is Ra. Use it on the shrine on the next aisle. Ah, uh -huh. okay. Okay, good to know. Good to know. Thank you very much, Aesop. All right, so let's keep... Good day, sir. Good day. All right, so let's keep looking around. Okay, so... What about in this little wooded area here? I've been all through here. I've been in there. Do I need to buy a room to get tired? Because I'm really feeling like that's going to be my companion. I am Smirk. Sure. Ten gold pieces, sure. Very nice. And I get that. Oh, all right. Well, that, that wasn't necessarily what I wanted to have happen. Well, we got a good night's sleep. We didn't need any health. And I can't open this door. He won't. He won't let me in. <sighs> uh, 
I'm gonna have to get I'm gonna have to get some mixing done for the uh, for the open spell. There is an open spell, so I can talk to this guy. I really am thinking this is that's that's the companion, which is why I didn't find him the last time we were here. Come on, housekeeper, get out of the way. Golly. All right, because I think I've been everywhere that I can here. The only thing I can think of is if there is something outside of the walls here. I mean, I probably did this last time. I'm not seeing any secret passages or anything. Nope. All right. All righty then. So we're going to have to, there is a companion here. It's got to be the guy in the room, and I'm going to have to wait until I can get some open spells to deal with it. So let's uh, actually bring up the map a little bit and take a peek at that. So you can see I've added uh, uh, I've added a couple more translations. I, I translated that, that main um, cartouche thing in the sea that says the land of Britannia. I had a uh, Brittany Bay, which is there where Britain and Lord British's castle is at. Um, you can see where we are down here in Ye Yalom. And um, I actually did some thinking, and I believe I have figured out how the Moongate system works. Because remember, we took a Moongate here. We took the one up from you. And so what I've discovered is that if you look at the top of the screen here, you've got the two moons. You've got Trammel on the left, and you've got Felucha, F-E-L-U-C-C-A. I'm going to call it Felucha, which is probably butchering it horribly. But you'll see they're moving through their phases, and they're doing their thing. And what I've discerned is that Trammel, which is the leftmost moon, that is defining that is defining where you're at. So like right now we are at the uh, first quarter. So that is Yalom's. That is Yalom's. If we bring up the if we bring up the um, the map again, you'll see that first quarter where the it's a, perfectly in half. The light side is white and the left side is dark. That's first quarter. So whenever it's first quarter, Trammel, the leftmost moon, that's going to pop up. Now, the rightmost moon is going to be the destination. So if I want to, if I want to go back to you, for instance, then I need what's called the uh, gibbous waxing, which is 80% white and 20% black. If I want to go to Moon Glow, I need the new moon, which is full black. And so it's uh, uh, Felucia, the right moon, its cycles move a lot faster than um, Trammel's does. So Trammel can actually uh, have opened the gate, but uh, uh, Felucia's uh, cycles can go much faster. And there might be two or three different different um, uh, destinations you could potentially get to. So let's see. So that's going to take me where? No place I want to be. I think... Nope, I did it wrong. I thought I was going back to you, but instead I went someplace new. Okay. Well, we're here. We might as well look around and see where we are at. Um, so that was like... Uh, so I did the opposite of you. So I did the gibbous, I did the gibbous waning when I meant to do the gibbous waxing. So that was 20% black and 80% white. And so that took me to this, which looks like a town, and it looks a lot like ruins. Now we've been told about a town that is in ruins called Nagentia, which was the um, supposed to be the town of pride. But it is, uh, it got, um, oh, the humility, excuse me, town of humility, but it got, it got in trouble with pride. So let's take it before we head back anywhere else. Let's go. Yeah, we found Magencia. So this is, this is it. Now, this is difficult because there's a lot of, ooh, I don't think I'm ready for this. In all honesty, 
because you got all of the swamp land there. You got whatever that thing looked like a Griffith or something. I don't have any cure spells. So we're not going to risk that right now. We found it. We don't necessarily know where it is on the map. We know it's on a we know it's on a little island. Oh, actually, we do know where it's Do we know where it's at? If you uh if we bring up the map here and you look uh due west from Brittany Bay on the other side of that continent, there is an island there with a moon that might be I think that's might be where we're at. It's a little tough to see because it's very small, but that might be where we're at there. So I'm gonna make that assumption for now. But we want to get back to you, or we want, or better yet, we want to get to Moon Glow. So this is going to need the gibbous waxing, I think I said, waning. 20% black, 80% white. And we want to do either the opposite, or we want to go to um, the new moon, which would be Moon Glow. So let's just wait a minute here for this thing to cycle through. Uh, okay, yep. I know where I am. Not necessarily where I wanted to be. Okay, yeah, so that was the gibbous waning. And it took me, it took me someplace else. We've actually been there before. It's actually where we first went when we came from Moonglow, and we headed north to try to get to uh, Lord Britain's castle, and then uh, and then didn't make it. So I think that's where we are. I don't necessarily actually. Eh, you know, we need to get to Moonglow. We just really need to get to Moonglow. So this thing is going to come back with Gibbous waning, which is twenty percent black, eighty percent white on the leftmost moon. So let's just see if I can, uh, if we can uh, make that happen, and then get to the f get to the new moon. There it is. Come on, one more, one more. Come on, yes. This should take us back to Moon Glow, and I think that's where we are. Yes, yes, beautiful. Moonglow, we are back in you. Excellente. I almost begin to feel like I know what I'm talking about. So the inn, we're well rested at this point. We don't need the inn. What's down here? Magical herbs. That's what we be needing. Okay. Yes, I am. So what all is it that we need? Okay, so for the cure spell... We need garlic and ginseng. So let's buy some ginseng. How many would I like? Five gold pieces. Uh, let's see, 25 times five. Ooh, that's going to get really pricey. Uh, 10 would be 50. For now, let's get 10. Uh, can I get a deal? 45? Okay, good. I save, I've saved five gold pieces. All right. Yes, there's something else. I need garlic now. Six gold pieces. Well, I'll get another ten. Be sixty gold pieces. Can we get Can we get it for fifty? All right. Good. All right. So that's my cure spells. I got ten of those guys. Next would be my favorite, favorite, favorite fireball, which is black pearl and sulfurous ash. Ash. So, sulfur ash, A. Two gold pieces. How many would I like? Let's get 20 of those. And let's see, can I get like 35? All right, good. This guy's pretty amenable to, to, to a little haggling. I'm enjoying that about him. We do need some black pearl. Right, black pearl? Yes, black pearl. So that's F. Uh, oof. I'm at 699. So if I got... I got 20 of those. Golly, 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 golly. Blood moss, black pearl. If I got 10 of them, that would be 90. If I got 20 of them, that would be 180. Can I get them down to 150, maybe? Oh, I did. Excellent. Okay. Excellent, excellent. Okay, and then lastly, 
for now. I really need to look through some of these, some of these, but let's for now, let's find the open spell here and see what we need for that. Sulfurous ash and blood moss. All right, so blood moss E, six gold pieces. Get 10 of those. Can I get that for 55? Very nice. And sulfurous ash. Let's buy a little bit more. Let's buy five more of those. And you know, I'll just I'll pay what he's asking for this. It's a, it's a small addition. All right. Is there anything else I want to be looking at getting right now? Quickness. Sulfurous ash, ginseng, and blood moss. Eh. I got everything I need to do for that. We're a resurrect spell. Oh yeah. Well, I think maybe we'll we'll we will we will uh, live with that for right now. Um, okay, so I am I am very happy with that. That we've gotten um, we got the healer. We do not need that. That we've gotten some some uh, a good stock of reagents here. Here's a deli. We probably could use some rations. We're below we're below a hundred now. Twenty five for twenty five gold pieces. How many packs of twenty five would you like? Eh, let's buy two. I think it's up to one hundred and thirty five. We'll go through food faster if I can ever get another get another uh, uh, companion. I don't think so. Okay, that's good news. That is good news. So I think that's everything I wanted to get done here. We don't need a room at the end. So we are now ready. We can depart again here from Moonglow. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Oh, but first we have to fight one of these bad boys. These bridge trolls, man. Uh, fine, I'll give him a dagger. Wow, we're missing, we're missing, we're missing. Okay, he's barely wounded. Dagger to the face. <laughs> I missed him. <laughs> Iolo, oh Iolo, oh I'm hit. I'm coming, Elizabeth. Oh, now he's heavily wounded. Get him, Iolo. It'd be nice if I could stab him and kill him, and then that way I could actually get the XP. He's heavily wounded again. Or still. There, now he's fleeing. I want that XP, don't you? He's still fleeing. I hit him, but he's still fleeing. This, he won't die. Of course, it helps. We're missing. There we go. There we go. And I got some experience. Excellent. And we got a, a chest. Acid trap. Okay, not too bad. Not too bad there at all. So, uh, we didn't get quite as much done as I'd hoped... <laughs> As I'd hoped on this particular, on this particular episode, but uh, we did get some stuff, some stuff. We got some more reagents, and uh, we got to play around with the Moongate system a little bit. And I think we found our companion in uh, Yalom. So we need to just uh, do some mixing, and which I'll probably do off screen because it's kind of boring. And we'll probably go back to Yalom and and um, and try to uh, try to mix it there. So uh, I guess I will let that be that for this episode. I do hope you come back for episode nine where we will have more exciting stuff to do. But until then, be seeing you.